Tell me who your companion is this here. This is Fizzy. Hi, Fizzy. You are busy, aren't you? Yes. What a little sweetheart Sometimes you are. Sometimes I call her the spastic princess. We're here at the Women's RTR, the WRTR in Arizona, and Kat's going to show us her van. She's from Florida, too. Where are, you, where are you from in Florida? I have a sticks and bricks in Winter Haven. I'm about three quarters um, living in the van. I have a 2017 Ram Pro Master 2500, and don't ask me the engine or anything like that. <laughs> um, I have um, some solar. I have 400 watts of solar on the roof. Nice. I have had the van for about six years, and so I do most of my... Um, traveling out here to Arizona. Mm -hmm. I bought this 95% done and I've added my own things to it. I've switched out the latches and every time you um, close the door, uh -huh. it's it's locked. Oh, that's so you don't nice. have to worry about it. They're called Seal. slam latches. I've got a chandelier in my bedroom. Oh, I like that. And I made that. Why not, right? Yeah. And I have a four-poster bed. So there's my four-poster bed, and then I made my, I knitted my home sign, and I crocheted the basket in the back, and just, you know, little homey touches. Mm -hmm. And um, there's my, my dog. She's crate trained, and so she sleeps right there, yeah. um, except for in the morning when it's super cold, she crawls in with me. This is my medicine cabinet. Oh. Yeah, at Hobby Lobby. Oh, really? Yeah. We've got a lot of cabinets up high. That uses the space really I well. The I vertical. Have, I have extra clothing in the back. Uh huh. This is my office. It has all of the like books and pencils and pens and mm -hmm. things like that. This is uh, my pasta cabinet. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I eat a lot of pasta. Uh huh. This is coffee cabinet. Mm -hmm. You got to have that. Mm -hmm. And I bought this sign actually before I even bought my van. Oh. Mm -hmm. Because I knew I was getting a van. I like that. Yeah. And then this is my uh, uh, half of my pantry, and my other half is down here. And this is where I keep all my clothing up here. That opens to the front. I do, and it's actually, I, I sewed a uh, another curtain to it. These are blackout from Walmart, and mm -hmm. then I sewed another piece of fabric, and that right. helps. Oh, that made all the difference For in the world. Insulation. This I actually <laughs> made myself. This is extra storage, oh. and I... That's my pee box down there. Uh huh. Well, everybody wants to know about everybody that. Everybody wants to know about that. I have. You're sitting on my toilet. Right okay. Now. <laughs> I just use a five-gallon bucket. Right. And it works perfectly. Um, it came with the van, so I didn't. I didn't change it out. Yeah. And it's got a little extra storage on the side. And then uh, this is my seat when I'm in here. And then I slide it over here. And this is my step, step up to the bed. I see. I always yeah. wonder about that. And you yeah. have more storage. This is all kitchen. Uh -huh. All kitchen here. My nice water. size refrigerator. Yes. And it's a 110. And now that I've upgraded my solar to... Um, 400 watts instead of 200. I don't have to drive every three days. So it, my batteries now, I've got two lithium batteries and it takes care of everything that is electric in here. I pulled out the, the second jerry can that was my gray water mm -hmm. and I put some shelves in there and now I have the sink, even though I don't use it, I wanted it functional and it just drains to the ground mm -hmm. and if I wanted to use it at some point I would just put a bucket under there and right. capture it nice but um but now it's just it's just storage yeah so, that gray water tank can take up a lot of yes space. and I and I so I I wanted to um have more storage I do want to give a shout out to Will Marie because Will Marie was the builder of this and um, and she and I are still friends on Facebook and otherwise. I told her if I ever got a, a van tour, which I'm doing right now. Yes, we are. Yay, Marie. Cool. This, was, this was for her personal use. Oh. And she went ahead, and I think she used some contractors, mm -hmm. but she went ahead and built it out. And I came along, I was like projecting out to the universe, you know, I, I, I want this and this and this and this. And I just happened to look on uh, Craigslist one day and oh my god there's my van. Will Marie had everything 
in here that I would have chosen. Mm. So it was just like, it was kismet. And I bet she was appreciative of you yes. taking it over yes. and giving it a good home or and being I, a and big I just, good home. I just um, was texting with her the other day mm -hmm. because she's curious, you know, she wants to know how I am and what I'm doing. If, if Probably if I still have the van, mm -hmm. I'm not getting rid of it. Oh, I love my van. It's really so. nice. You've got yeah. plenty of floor space uh -huh. here. Well, Great storage. That's, that's debatable. Well, I'm in a mini van. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> so, yeah. 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 But this I is wanted, very nice. I wanted this exact year, the color, the height, so everything, you know, and she did it perfectly. Oh, and I, so thank you, Will Marie. So you're enjoying life on the road. I am. My daughter, uh, bless her heart, you know, she was a little bit iffy with it at first, but then she's come around and she said, Mom, do it while you can. That's beautiful. And so I am. I'm doing it while I can. Thank you so much for the van tour. You are nice seeing you welcome. here, Kat. You are absolutely welcome. Okay, maybe Thank we'll you, see Jim. you in Florida. Yay! Yay! <laughs> this van. Thank you. I do too. <laughs> I'm a retired art teacher and so I named my van Palette. P-A-L-I-T because it's my little pal. I have my little kitchen. All of this I got off Amazon or Walmart. Uh, the little kitchen unit has a four cup coffee maker. On top there's a burner that you can fix eggs or whatever. And underneath is a little toaster oven. They do work great. They look like the um, Betty Crocker My Kitchen. It works like a charm. It does pull a lot of power. And then I have the little toaster. Mm -hmm. And then back behind the flower pot is my little waffle maker. And they all work great. The little pump came from Amazon too. And it goes to a water bottle down there. And then this is just a Walmart bowl that I put a magnet. To keep things from moving around, nice. I put magnets on everything. And then they don't move around on me. And underneath here I have two rock power power stations and this is all a desk that my son made it's interlocking so I don't have to get a screwdriver or anything out if I want to remove it I just pick up and move the pieces out of the slots and then it folds flat and I can store it under the bed I have a lot of freeze-dried and um, packaged meats and things mm -hmm. so I don't need a lot of refrigeration but I just bought this little refrigerator here and it's a refrigerator freezer and that's the name Bodega. of it and it's not really wide as you can see which I didn't want to use up a lot of floor space there's a comparison to my hand mm -hmm. and but it's very deep so right. I can stand a whole carton of creamer or something in it nice. easily and it pulls very few watts um, about two watts when I had it at home testing it okay and it has a recharger a wireless recharger right that's here for your nice. phone and it also has a power port for your phone. And this is charged by your power stations up right, in front. Right. You've got it decorated so cute. What Thank do you got you. stored up here? This is a metal shelf that I had. The transits have a little lipped shelf up here. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to be able to hide all the stuff that gets stuffed up there. But I wanted to still be able to get into the front. Plus I'm tall and I like the open feeling. Mm -hmm. So I didn't want to build a shelf out. A lot of the transit people build their shelves out like right here. Started out buying these little books, storage books, that I totally loved for oh. putting things in. <laughs> these working? are old file cabinet drawers mm -hmm. um, for the five by seven cards like they used to use in the offices. I use them to store my CDs and just about anything. I also store like bras, underwear, socks yeah. in each of the drawers. And You've I've, got a bunch of them. I think I've got, uh, there's two to a set. They come in a metal box and there's two in a box. Mm -hmm. And I think I've got five sets going across here. And what's your bed? How did you make your bed? Um, my son built a box, a wood box around it, which mm -hmm. this has a hinge because it can flip over. Okay, and right so here, you can have a bigger bed. I can have a double bed. It can slot into there and I can have a double bed. And what kind of mattress? Uh, the trifold from Amazon. It's the four inch and then I've got a foam topper on top of that. Get up pretty close. And I put some netting underneath it. Um, well that's a good idea. Give me a place you could put that under any table. I yeah. never thought of that. That's a great idea. Actually if you go to right. Harbor Freight, you go to the bungee section, mm -hmm. they've got helmet 
covers and they're just about this wide mm -hmm. and they're to strap your helmets down on your motorcycles mm -hmm. but they're perfect under these tables so wow. you just turn them upside down news. and they give you a little net shelf that you can put stuff under your table i took the the just press board that came with it and covered it with fabric mm -hmm. and cut a hole in it and opened it up so that i could store things back right. in here there's a lot of door storage space back in here and then my son made fold down tables for me. That's good use of space. Just so I'd have place for little things like safety pins and hair clips and things like that. I love your curtains, it's so mm -hmm. colorful. This back shelf, those drawers run right to here. Right. He cut a hole so that I could put my uh -huh. things that I need to get. And then this is my little potty. This little cassette thing. Cassette toilet. Yeah, and it has the flushing thing there. It was too low because I torn some muscles in my legs last year, oh. so I put it up on the st higher well, stool that we adjusted up. Mm -hmm. My son just built this right around uh, the wheel well, mm -hmm. and I can use this as a desktop or to set my laptop and watch videos and things on. Nice little mirror there, mm -hmm. and fans, of course. Really great. It's a shot from the back here. I, um, over here on the back of the bed, these are little access areas. This is where I store that fold-up table there. Mm -hmm. Cut out so the legs fit right there. And then this lifts up and I can get in and I've got storage of things like butane and that kind of thing. Okay, so two questions people ask me are uh, where do you store your food and where do you store your clothes? Okay, my food I have in storage boxes that I put on the back. Okay, on the on the, uh, on the back bag. hitch. Clothes um, are either in the drawers underneath or throughout that unit. Right, this wall unit over mm -hmm. here. All right. And nothing is built in permanent. Everything can come out. Well, that's nice to know. This has some kind of spring latch system that you pull them pull down on each side, and mm -hmm. that whole unit can slide out, and we can use it for cargo hauling. Mm -hmm. And then all of this is built on one box unit that just slides in. That's fantastic. So tell me, um, what are your future plans? Are you part-time, full-time, and where do you like to hang out? Uh, I have home base at um, Sunset Harbor, which is a beautiful area, and I have a wonderful house. So, What, sta what state? What state? North Carolina. North Carolina. Well, thank you so much for doing this van tour. Mm -hmm.